Hi, I'm Gennaro Lotomista, and in this video I will present the work done in collaboration with researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology, the University of Pennsylvania, and the Army Research Lab on resilient and energy-aware task allocation for heterogeneous multi-robot systems. In this work, we propose an optimization-based formulation in order to allocate a set of tasks among a multi-robot team. We develop a framework which specifically takes into account the heterogeneity of the team of robots, intended as the different ability that different robots have at performing different tasks, the resilience of the task allocation, consisting of the ability to react to disturbances due to robot failures or the ones offered by the environment in which the robots operate, and finally the energy spent by the robots, which is amenable if the robots are to remain operational for a sustained amount of time in long-duration autonomy applications. These features emerge all from the instantaneous allocation of tasks to robots performed by means of an optimization problem, whose objective consists of minimizing the effort spent by the robots to execute tasks while guaranteeing that all tasks are effectively executed. This is realized by leveraging a novel model of robot capabilities. This model allows us to very naturally encode heterogeneity, and it is based on the following idea. Consider a group of robots R1 to R4. Robots possess features F1 to F6, such as specific type of sensors, actuators, or communication equipment. Features support capabilities, C1 to C3, as can be, for instance, the ability to fly or video record. And capabilities serve tasks, T1 and T2, which could be, for example, environment monitoring, mapping, or object picking and placing. Thanks to a bipartite hypergraph, we can account for capabilities realized by different sets of multiple features, a convenient representation which allows us to formalize the suitability that robots have at performing different tasks in terms of their specializations. Let's see what we can do in the context of task allocation by leveraging this knowledge of the robot specializations. In this simple example, we have four robots, R1 to R4, represented by grey triangles aligned at the bottom, asked to perform two tasks, consisting in visiting the two orange points at the top, respectively. Robots R1, R2 and R3 are specialized to perform only task T1, while robot R4 can perform both tasks. The resulting task allocation optimization chooses robot R2 to execute task T1 and R4 to execute T2. R1 and R3 are not recruited. Thanks to our formulation, we can also choose the number of robots or the amount of capability required to execute a task. In this same scenario, we now want at least two robots to execute task T1. As a result, R2 and R3 are now assigned to it, while R4 moves to the top left point, executing task T2. It is worth noticing that the task allocation optimization synthesizes also the control input to make the robots execute the assigned tasks. But what if robots are not as good as expected at executing a task, perhaps because of unexpected environmental phenomena? We refer to this as an exogenous disturbance, which, owing to the instantaneous nature of the task allocation, can be accounted for by changing the specializations of the robots towards tasks in an online fashion. Consider the same scenario seen before, now with only two robots, both potentially capable of executing both tasks. However, it is assumed that robot R1 is unable to move inside the blue circular region around task T2. For this reason, it is practically impossible for it to execute task T2. The measured inability of robot R1 at performing task T2 is used to adapt its specialization towards task T2 while it is executing it. As a result, at a certain point in time, the task allocation swaps between robots as R1 was understood to be ineffective at executing task T2. Similarly, the framework can react to endogenous disturbances, characterized by the loss of a feature by a robot due to, for example, hardware or software malfunctions. In this example, we have again two robots, both specialized to perform two tasks. However, at a certain point in time, a feature of R1 fails, making it unsuitable to perform task T2. Consequently, the initial assignment of R1 to T2 changes on the fly, allowing this way T1 and T2 to be both executed. Having introduced these heterogeneity and resilience-related features of the proposed task allocation algorithm, 
We now show its implementation on a multi-robot team on the Robotarium, a remotely accessible swarm robotics test bed developed at the Georgia Institute of Technology. In this scenario, we have five ground mobile robots, one of which is a simulated aerial robot, depicted as a quadcopter projected down onto the Robotarium test bed. The robots are asked to perform two tasks. The first one consists of one robot navigating the environment from the red circle to the red cross. For the second task, three robots have to escort the robot performing task 1 by arranging themselves in a circle around it, while monitoring with simulated camera systems the red star in the top middle part of the rectangular environment. Endogenous and exogenous disturbances will take place during the course of the experiment. The task allocation optimization initially assigns task 1 to robot 4 and task 2 to robots 1, 2 and 3. As we can see, robot 4 starts navigating towards the red cross along the dashed path while being escorted by robots 1, 2 and 3 which point their cameras, the yellow beams, towards the red star. At this time instant, the camera robot 3 breaks. It is not able to monitor the point of interest and therefore it can't execute task 2. Thus, the optimization swaps the tasks allocated to robots 3 and 4. Remember that the control inputs to achieve this behavior are automatically synthesized by the task allocation optimization. Later, during the course of the experiment, as robot 4 approaches the brown blob in the middle of the environment, it realizes that it gets stuck there, not being able to locomote anymore. Notice how the colored progress bars next to it signal that its specialization towards task 2, depicted in blue, reduces. As it reaches 0, it is not able to execute task 2 anymore. At this point, robot 5, the simulated aerial robot, is recruited and, being able to fly over the brown region, joins robots 1 and 2 in escorting robot 3 to the goal point, as desired. Thank you for watching.